Hello, Malcolm here in my wife's greenhouse, just for a change. And what I'd like to ask you is for your thoughts on the text I'm preaching on this coming Sunday, the 26th of April, 2020, for the Watford Church of Christ, and it's Psalm 122. What I'd like to do today is just read the uh, psalm uh, out to us all, and then ask you a couple of questions and see what you think about this wonderful psalm. So Psalm 122 says this. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our, our God, I will seek your prosperity. Lovely psalm. Wonderful thoughts. A psalm of David, a psalm, psalm amongst the psalms of ascent of pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. Here are some questions, and I'd like to know your thoughts. So, First of all, I wonder what you think about the judgment. Verse 5, there stand the thrones for judgment. What kind of judgment is David thinking about here? Uh, the thrones of the house of David. So it's actually his house and the thrones are connected with his house. So what's the connection? What's going on here between these thrones and the house of David and why they're there? And why does he reference that they're there in Jerusalem? What have, what's that got to do with the peace of Jerusalem? What's that got to do with having peace within the walls? What's that got to do with going to the house of the Lord to worship? Why bring judgment into the psalm? Just that verse 5 there, that's all. I'm interested to know uh, what you think about that. And also verse 3 mystifies me a little bit. Um, Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. What's he thinking about there, like, uh, like crowded streets? If you've been to Jerusalem as I have and you've walked down those narrow streets, they are very congested. Is he thinking about that kind of compaction? Or is there something else going on there? I just wonder what you think about that. It's kind of a surprising image again to put into a psalm here. It's built like a city closely compacted together as opposed to a city that is loosely compacted together. I, what, what's really going on there? It's a little bit mysterious. Um, so that's a couple of questions. And then Peace and prosperity. So the, the psalm ends really interestingly to me that he says in verse 8, for the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. So what kind of prosperity do you think he's thinking about? What is it a material prosperity, a spiritual prosperity, a, a temporal prosperity, an eternal prosperity? What kind of prosperity, do you, at least what do you think he might have meant, as in the people who who were his contemporaries, might have thought he meant by peace and prosperity. And then, and then crucially for us, what, what does that kind of prosperity look like for you and me? I don't think it's about a fat bank balance uh, and, and millions of pounds in the bank for retirement and, and all that. I don't think that's what it's about, but what do you think it's about? What, what does that prosperity mean if it's going to be meaningful to you and I? I'd love to know what you think about these things. Now, if you could get back to me by Friday morning latest, I've been doing some preparation. I've got an outline. I've got some ideas. I'm going to be refining it. Today is uh, Tuesday. I'm going to be refining it on Wednesday and Thursday, and I'm going to finalize it on Friday. That's my goal, and I'll tweak it Saturday, Sunday morning. But I want to finalize things on Friday. So if you could get back to me by Friday, that will be wonderful, really helpful. Thank you very much. You can email me, malcolm at malcolmcox.org. You could drop a note into wherever you get or see this recording or via my website. Uh, or those of you who know me well, you've probably got my phone number. You can contact me on Facebook. Uh, let me know what you think about Psalm 122 and what those thoughts are. And if anything else comes to your mind, not just those questions, I'd be really, really interested. So thanks a lot. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. For the Watford Church of Christ, we'll be 10.30 in the morning starting as usual. If you want to join us, you'd be more than welcome. We'd love to have you. We're going to be using Google Meet online 
The links will be via the Facebook page. If you can't find a link and you want it, then email me and I will send you a link and you can join us on Sunday. We've had so much fun each week, even though we're in social isolation, we've had a blast singing, praying, learning from God's word and the kids have been involved. It's, it's actually been a lot of fun. So I hope you can join us. Look forward to that. So until then, take care and God bless.